All right, where we left off, you already know. <laughs> the two heavenly, gorgeous women and Hideki had a special time, if you get my motivation there. But anyway, now we have a uh, continue on for the rest of the night. So let's get right back into it, shall we? I spent the rest of the evening re <laughs> Jesus Christ. This could not have ended any further than I anticipated the last time. Oh no. I spent the rest of the evening recuperating after the rigorous workout Marina and Fumi gave me. <laughs> For God's sake. I ate the dinner Hifumi prepared, which is delicious as always. And while away, my hours on the couch watching TV, Hifumi and Cosmos are sitting with me. There's some documentary about, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hifumi and Cosmos are sitting with me. There's some documentary on about samurai that Hifumi seems particularly fascinated with. Though I am not really watching it. I'm too tired to pay much attention. Particularly to the going ons in the 17th century. Cosmos surprisingly seems pretty into the documentary, but I think she's more amused by all the historical reenactments and the highly exaggerated speech adopted by the actors in their heavy samurai regalia than intrigued by the dates or the facts. She's certainly giggling more than a TV program of this sort deserves. Does she think it's supposed to be some kind of comedy? Hazel went for another jog and Marina answered some work emails in her room. As for you, I'm not sure where she is. She shot off after dinner, maybe to practice her dance steps in her studios for an upcoming tour. <sighs> I yawn, pressing one hand to my mouth. It's not 10 yet, but I feel pretty tired. Yeah, you don't say. I'm thinking about hitting the hay already when... Hey, Hideki. A you appears in the doorstep in a flurry with orange twin tails and a flap of her pastel pink skirt. Now that's a coincidence. I was just thinking about her. Hey, you. Do you want something? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. It's a nice, quiet evening, and as the sun will soon set, I was wondering... Stop! Before you continue on with the video, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. Are you struggling with sleeping? Are you struggling with dehydration? Are you struggling with having energy in the morning, day, and night when it comes to gaming? I got a solution for y'all. Head on over to Poggers. This is going to be one of the few drinks that they actually released, and it's actually really, 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 really cool. Um... They even released their new flavor last month, which is Rocket Pop. Make sure to go ahead and check them out. Link in the description down below. Use creator code ZM for 10% off your order. Enjoy the video, everybody. Oh! Cosmo tears her eye from the screen when Multitude is about to ambush Nobunaga and stares at me. And he's right. The sun will be setting soon. And he scoffs both hand planted firmly on her hips. Was it to you? I was waiting for the sunset so I can go and take a few photos. The sunset is very aesthetic, particularly over the shoreline. It would look good for my rapid pound feed, especially if I took a few wide angles and maybe applied a filter. I could take some really artistic photos of the sky, the cliffs, and the ocean. And I could take some shots of myself in the bikini. <laughs> of course you would think of that. That's your only option there. I can make a whole album for this and call it a summertime date with cute cosmos. Though, of course, uh, you're the only person I really want to go on a date with, Hideki. <laughs> cosmos reassures me. Winding one arm through mine. 
I'm with expectant eyes as she peers at me, pressing her chest against my side as she says, Would you mind going for a walk with me? I'm sure I'll be able to take even better photos if you hold my phone for me. You want me to help you with your rapid pound content? If you wouldn't mind? Cosmo blinks wisdomly, her eyelashes trembling. Is that no good? Don't you want to help? It is kind of weird taking new photos of your girlfriend so you can upload them to the internet. But I guess it's fine since I'm the only one who can touch you. Twisted thought it may sound, but it's actually quite the appealing idea. Cosmos, thousands upon thousands of fans will gomp at her in her cute cat made bikini while fantasizing about strolling along the sunset beach with her. But in actual, I'm the only one who'll ever be able to do such a thing. I'll be one-upping these guys from the shadows and they'll never even know. <laughs> you have quite the strange expression upon your face. Huh? I do? Yes, indeed. Like a Noah mask. For a moment, you look almost demonic. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just fantasizing about something. It must have been quite the fantasy to prompt to such an extreme reaction from you. Yeah, I guess. You could say I have awakened a new scheming side I never knew that I possessed. Really? That is exciting. Fumi giggles. I certainly wouldn't mind to be taken advantage of by you. You're so shame- I- you- We- Okay. Hey you, I don't know if you noticed, but we already So shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear anything from your fucking mouth. I don't have time to hear your bullshit, Mizami. Fuck out of here. Only when Hideki is involved. I fear he brings it out of me. And you would know that you do not give her any ideas of me. For fuck's sake. You had your fun with Hideki already. You went on a walk with him. You and Marina. Cosmo squeezed my arm between hers, her butterscotch eyes, and fixed it on upon mine. I want to have some fun with Hideki now. Can we go for a walk? Can we please, please? Sure thing. I love to, Cosmos. Yay! Thank you. Will you help me take my photos? It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> she is so happy. That that face is too cute. Cosmo covered me with affectionate kisses. Well, and you scowls. Me! I wanted to go with a walk with you too. Sorry, are you? But I'm otherwise engaged right now. Um, I've got a bunch of photos to take. We can go on a walk later, okay? No, it's not okay. You scowls then kick his, kicks the couch with a witch, makes Hifumi tut. It's so unfair. It's like you're ignoring me on purpose. You're such a jerk. Let's see if I care. I didn't even want to go and walk with you. You don't even deserve attention. You. You. You bowl of moldy rice that has been left in the cooker for over a month. A month? Havumi winces to hear the detailed simile, one hand pressed against her mouth. That would never do. While well, rice tastes better when it's left overnight, being it for a whole month in the cooker, no less, is unthinkable. I cannot condone such a thing. Yeah, well, maybe. Hideki should have thought about that before he decided to blow me off. I don't see how these things are related. You wouldn't. You're too stupid to comprehend anything unless it's staring you right in the face. So saying, Ayu stalks off. She doesn't look at all happy. But I don't have time to fuss over her and her murdical moments. I agreed to go out with Cosmos and that's precisely what I'll do. I'm not the sort of guy who goes back on my word. Girl, you're fucking killing me, for heaven's sake. Why didn't you do this? But knowing that you're on the beach, I'm not surprised anymore. And we'll end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It's been said. I will see you guys next time. My